Meghan Markle Rowe left Sharon Osbourne needing eight months of therapy due to death threats. After defending Piers Morgan's remarks on Meghan Markle, Sharon Osbourne was fired from the talk. She has since opened up about the criticism she received. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Eight months of therapy were required of Sharon Osbourne after she received death threats for her remarks regarding Meghan Markle. The wife of Ozzy Osbourne had previously defended Piers Morgan on Twitter after the latter came under fire for questioning Meghan's claims about her mental health during their conversation with Oprah Winfrey. After this, Cheryl Underwood, Sharon's co-host on the talk, questioned her about claims of racism, which led to a contentious on-air argument. Sharon later issued an apology in a statement, saying, I sincerely apologize to anyone of color that I may have offended and or to anyone who may have felt confused or let down by what I said. I panicked, felt blindsided, got defensive and allowed my fear and horror of being accused of being racist take over. After some time, CBS made the decision to sever ties with Sharon, who has subsequently disclosed that she is unable to find employment in the U.S. television industry. Speaking about the experience in a Bella magazine interview, she made note of the following, I entered eight months of therapy after that. We were receiving death threats, so for two months, Otto and I stayed indoors. It was very large. She went on to remark, you know, you say this and that, and it's like a seed that grows into this huge, by tree, and you're like, Jesus, no. It was enormous. It was the ugliest thing I have ever experienced, and it was simply crazy. The internet serves as an executioner, jury, and judge. When Sharon was a contestant on Celebrity Big Brother, she talked about this moment in her life. In response to Lauren Simon, a fellow housemate, who inquired about her ability to work in the US, Sharon said, I can legally work here, but no employer will hire me because they say I'm racist. They believe that we have no idea what it's like to be teased. I wouldn't discriminate against someone based on their religion or race. Piers made the following statement the day following Meghan and Prince Harry's well-known interview, I'm simply going to say what I'm going to say. While Prince Philip lies in the hospital, this two-hour trashathon is being held in support of the monarchy, our royal family, and everything the Queen has worked so hard to achieve. They disparage everyone. By revealing this racial secret, they essentially expose the entire royal family, as a group of white nationalists. Which one it was, they did not identify. They simply throw it open, meaning any member of the royal family may be the subject. Sharon tweeted her support for peers, saying, I am with you. I support you? People tend to forget that you're paid to express your opinions and are only telling the truth. In March 2021, Piers was fired from Good Morning Britain, and two weeks later, Sharon was asked to quit CBS's The Talk. At the palace, Meghan Markle's candid remarks of the difficult moments she endured while in the public eye stunned everyone. Signs existed prior to Prince Harry and Meghan's departure from their royal responsibilities, but their departure stunned the world. The pivotal moment for them occurred in 2019 when Meghan spoke with Tom Bradby while visiting South Africa. They were filming for the ITV series Harry and Meghan, An African Journey, which followed their travels through Africa, and when Meghan revealed how sad she was, people couldn't believe it. Meghan told Tom how difficult it was to deal with being well-known and having everyone write about her when she was expecting and had recently given birth. Being in the spotlight exacerbated her already existing really vulnerable feelings, she candidly stated. Meghan clarified, you know, any woman is incredibly vulnerable, especially when she's pregnant, so that was really difficult, and then when you have a new baby, you know. And it's a lot particularly for a woman. So, you combine this with simply attempting to become a new mother or a newlywed. And, 
Also thank you for asking, because not many people have asked if I'm okay, she said. But it's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes. Tom followed by asking, and the answer is, would it be fair to say, not really okay, as in it's really been a struggle. Megan answered succinctly and directly, yes. What she stated shocked the members of the royal family and the palace, and Meghan herself was taken aback by the amount of attention the interview garnered. On the Teenager Therapy podcast, Meghan discussed this topic in honor of World Mental Health Day, in October 2020. She revealed that the reason she said what she did was because she was really exhausted from taking care of little Archie. Man, I was tired, Meghan said. I was going to give Archie a bath right now. I was worn out. I would rush back to ensure our youngster was fed in between each official engagement. At the very end, the journalist asked me, Are you okay? And I didn't realize that my answer would receive such interest around the world.